Hello everyone, welcome to Fargo, North Dakota. Check out the beautiful view from my apartment. Actually, it's quite boring, I'll admit, has been my day so far. Which is why I decided to make this little project right here, which is basically a car stopper for my garage, so I know how far to pull forward before I should stop. Um, so the project hinges around two critical components, one being this guy, which is the MSP430 launch pad, and that little black package hiding away there in that mess of wires, if you can see it, is the MSP430 processor. And this little blue module right here is the other critical component, which is a ultrasonic uh, range module. So how that works, I got another one over here. Basically, the module itself has two transducers. It has one that acts as a speaker, and it has one that acts as a microphone. And basically, the module measures the time it takes from the noise emitted from the speaker to travel to the microphone. Taking that into account with, of course, the speed of sound, we can come up with uh, distance. Then the module is quite easy to use. It has four pins. It has a VCC pin, which you apply VCC to. It has a ground pin, which you apply ground to. It has a trigger pin and also a echo pin. The echo pin is triggered by the trigger pin, and the echo itself creates a pulse that is whose pulse width is proportional to the distance. So right here I got my Rigel 1052 uh, oscilloscope. It's quite a decent oscilloscope for its price and works for most of your basic applications. I got two uh, probes there that are measuring the trigger pin and the echo pin. The yellow right there is the echo pin, which the module is generating for me. And then I am generating that, uh, that blue little blip there, which is the trigger pulse. That pulse is 10 microseconds and occurs every uh, 250 milliseconds. And then that echo pulse there, of course, is generated every time you create a trigger pulse. Now it's kind of going all over the place right now, and that's because, sorry ladies, my body isn't the best reflector of ultrasonic waves. However, if you take a very rigid, flat object such as this, such as this notebook here, and you put it in front of the module, you'll get a very nice, stable pulse. And again, the time that that pulse is, its pulse width, that is proportional to the distance. So as I take this uh, piece of paper here, and I move it closer and further away from the module, we will see that the pulse duration increases and decreases accordingly. In addition, you'll notice in the project I have a little RGB LED there, so once I get close it turns red. Once I get further away, it becomes green. So that'll tell me when to stop my car, ideally. And then it has a few other features, such as that potentiometer right there, that changes when this LED triggers. Basically, I didn't want to hard code the value in to the processor, so I wanted to make it dynamic with this potentiometer. This potentiometer has a range between 0 to 3.6 volts, and this module supposedly has a range between 0 and 4 meters. So basically I correlated the two extremes such that when I turn the pot one way, the module never triggers no matter how close I get, and when I turn it the other way, the module is always triggered no matter how close I get. So that's the idea behind that, and then it also has one other feature, which is this guy, which is actually a photosensitive resistor. So this whole circuit, I want to be powered by a coin cell battery, and I would hopefully want it to last for uh, years on end on a single battery without having to replace it. So in order to achieve that, this circuit can only be powered for a couple minutes every day. The way I'm going to achieve that, again, is by using this photosensitive resistor. So basically it's in series with the whole power supply uh, logic, and right now it is measuring a, I think it's a low resistance because uh, it has the ambient light around it, 
And now if I cover it up with a piece of electrical tape, like so, all of a sudden you'll see that my circuit turned uh, completely off. So now that photosensitive resistor, the resistance of it has changed uh, significantly, and I use that to create some logic to shut off the power to all of the devices. So when it's off state, uh, it only draws like microamps, and then in it's on state, I think it draws a couple milliamps. So hopefully with that, I can achieve um, hopefully years of battery life again on a single coin cell battery, but uh, yeah, we'll see. So the plans for this guy is, of course, to compact all this mess onto a single uh, PCB and mount it in my garage. So that's the basic idea of the project. Thanks for, for watching. Um, right here I have the source code and I'll post that below in the YouTube comments as well as the schematic itself behind the module. So while it's for getting some more information, I'll, uh, I'll have a forum post on this at 430.com. They are everything MSP430, so a pretty cool site. I'd recommend checking them out. And yep, thanks for watching.